what is your sim setup like? Like, I assume there's one at the at the race shop there. That you're like, is it? Can you paint a picture for the for the guy who just has a little steering wheel in his basement? Like, how badass your setup is? Yeah, it's 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 a little bit more complex than that. Um, I guess you could say it's uh, you know it's pretty. Um, it's, pre- it's a pretty fancy setup. Um, you know, it, it, I mean, now Formula One's teams are spending so much money on simulators because um, we can't, like, go out and test, right? Like, that's now a regulation in F1. Um, so we, we only have, like, six days of testing before the season starts. And then it's just racing. So over the, the last, like, 10 years, 15 years since testing has stopped, teams have started spending a lot of money in sim- in simulation to develop simulators to develop the cars and you know now we can really like try the setup on the simulator and you know it's really 90 percent of the time it's good enough where we know that, that setup on the simulator is going to work on the track so we do you know two three days of simulator leading up to the race and get a much better idea of how we have to set up the car also like just you know from a driving side of things like just getting into a groove with the track and now all the tracks are laser scanned to perfection. Um, so really have an idea of, you know, the, the bumps in the track and the layout and all those things, which is, um, yeah, which is, you know, it's crazy to think that we can do that, you know, on simulators now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, um, pretty cool. The setup we have back at the factory, it's, you know, it's up, that's a simulator up on a motion platform. Um, so we have the chassis up on a motion platform and, with um, uh, roll and um, um, like longitudinal braking, there's motion. Um, so you get longitudinal motion under braking um, and you get like lateral l- roll. You don't get yaw, but you get okay. roll um, yep. motion. Um, so that gives us like kind of an idea, like feeling the car, um, but you don't feel everything because that's the next step is yo like that's a really important sensation when you're in, when you're behind the wheel of a race car um, and we don't get that so there's some things you're limited by with the motion platform which separates simulation from reality um, but there's still like a lot of good things going on now in the simulators that you know are, are on this just come such a long way and I'm sure it's only going to keep getting better and we got you know a big screen um, in front of us like 180 um kind of degree wraparound thing yeah um which is um you know which is which is, which is amazing i mean it gives us like a you know a really good view of of everything um so yeah i mean it's uh you know it's, it's pretty crazy where technology has come in the in the last 10 years but um it's still it's still very different you know driving okay. a simulator and driving a race car uh, you know it's still it, it, you don't you don't you know, there's still there's still a difference like going, you know, 300 kilometers an hour between the, yeah. the walls in Monaco, doing it on the simulator and doing it in the real thing. It, it, there's still something in your brain that tells you it's a little, it's a little different. <laughs> yeah, um, no doubt. You could, you could still say that, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Do you guys, uh, like, I'm sure you have sim sessions. Like, how, how on average, you don't have to give it away. How many, how many hours a week do you spend on the sim? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I, don't, I don't mind answering that. Um, I, I often, like, I spend... I'm either in there like once a week before the race. Um, and if there's stuff like we want to develop on the sim, cause that's also like a separate kind of thing that's always going on is like developing the sim and making it better. Uh, sometimes I come in twice, twice a week. Um, yeah. so I was like do a day of development to help out the guys and you know, the tire model is always changing and there's always like different motion settings and options that are, you know, um, like being worked on and developed. So Sometimes I go in for for a day of that, and then um, generally like just like a day to kind of prepare pre-event on a Tuesday or Wednesday before flying out to the race. Um, yeah, 